I am clean up the ice. <laughs> and I rule the kingdom of ice. And I can freeze people with it. No, you can't. Try it. Just pretend. Oh, okay. Do you sometimes wake up in the morning and just feel like you have an icy heart, cold running through your veins, like you're just some kind of a frost witch? No, me neither. But we're going to make an ice witch crown, and all you really need is some hot glue, a bowl, and some other random materials you probably have lying around. So let's get started, and we'll make you this. Princess Ice Queen type of crown. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to make a quick ice witch crown or frozen crown, whatever you want to use or whatever you want to call it. But all you really need is something that's sort of around the circumference of your head uh, because the crown will go around here. So you want something that's close to that. I prefer glass over anything else because it's easier to get the glue off of. You also need a glue gun and lots of glue. So basically all we're going to do is take our glue and go around about half of it and then we're going to make like icicles. And when this peels off it'll be sturdy once we're done decorating and everything and uh, we'll be able to wear a crown from there. So I'm just going to start, I want to follow the line of this base. This is the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going through and I'm adding another layer underneath that line. Which apparently I do not have a steady hand. And you can use the warmth of your glue gun to kind of smooth it out a little bit if you want. It really depends on the texture you're going for. So now I got the base, it's starting to dry, which is difficult to see. I'm just going to continue by adding some, some zoom. <laughs> continue by adding some things that look like icicles. I'm going to start in the center. I'm going to use a back and, forth myth, back and forth motion. You can do this with colored glue sticks as well. You can find them, which is a nice change if you want to do them in pink or glitter. There's a lot of options out there. Basically, we're laying the form down, and then we're going to add another layer over it to give it some support. So far, this is what we've got. We've got one half. All right, I've got the first layer on there, and I'm just going to add to it. I'm going to thicken some of these up just so they're sturdier because this is going to stand alone once you take this off. So it needs to have enough stability to hold itself up. And once you have all the icicles, the thickness you want, you need to add more around the bottom to make sure everything stays together well. Next part is decorating. What I've got is some school glue that I just I'm putting in a paint holder. I've got a brush. 
I've got something that's like a confetti that's uh, sparkly. It'd be great if I had some gems or something to put in here, but I don't, which you would just super glue in or hot glue in. And then I've got some different glitters that I borrowed from my oldest daughter. Don't tell her I took them. And I'm just going to add thin layer of glue just to give these things a place to stick. Now we got some glue on there. Just take these little things and uh, put them in a random place. I'm going to focus these more on the front. What I decided to do with this is since these little flakes don't really want to stay down really, really well, I'm just going to go over them with the hot glue to lock them in and that'll also kind of make it look like they're inside of the ice versus just being stuck on there. I think that'll be a neat effect. So again, when something's not working, try something else. All right, so there we go. They are now locked in there with the glue. And the glue is clear enough that you can see them through it. So that'll work just fine. I am still going to use the school glue. I'm going to use that to get the glitter on there. So I'm just going to put a thin layer of school glue down and then go over it with a brush that has glue, or I'm sorry, that has glitter on them. And that'll make them all stick. By them, I mean the glitter. there I have a dry brush and I've got the glitter and I'm just going to dip the brush into the glitter and kind of wipe it over I'd like it starting to come together pretty good I might go ahead and do a follow-up color, maybe some red. Just kind of break it up a little bit. The last thing I have is some varnish. You can use um, spray clear coat, something like that. I just want to put this on here to kind of lock everything into place so all this doesn't come off as people are wearing it. Hopefully it doesn't move too much of this stuff around. I'll wipe too much of it away, but it may. I just do a padding. This just puts a protective layer over top which will really help keep all the glitter from coming off on you. For one, it'll also keep it from uh, wearing off prematurely as you're wearing it. Okay, this is all dry. If you can peel it off by hand, that's great. If not, use a spoon or a butter knife or something to get up under there to help pull everything apart. Make sure you wash the bowl. And here is the crown we have. Now you can take time to trim it up, which I think I'll do. I'm going to make this thinner so it sits more flat against your head versus like on your head. and cut off any stringy pieces that you might have left or any other discrepancies you don't like. And the last thing is to add a piece to hold it into place. I have an old generic fake gold plated necklace. 
I'm going to use that as a holder for this. I'm just going to hot glue that into place. Nothing fancy, just putting hot glue on it. And touch the other side, a little dab of hot glue. And there you have it. There's your new frozen slash ice queen crown. There you go. Now you can use that with all kinds of different costumes. You can actually use bobby pins to hold it in, or little clips, whatever you like. But uh, there you go. I would even go as far as putting blue paint on the back side. It might make it look more um, natural because ice has a blue tint to it. And you'd be able to see it through some of your, your um, hot glue. Now, of course, you could use clear hot glue. Mine actually turns white as it dries. But again... These are just ideas of how you can make your own versions of the same types of things. So, enjoy. Hey, thanks for watching, but before you run off to make your own awesome cosplay armor and props, click that subscribe button down below so you'll always be updated when new videos are released. Also, if you need more tips, tricks, and tutorials, you can stop by www.ccosplay.com for much more information and articles that are released on a regular basis. And last but not least, stay crafty.